Are you tired of paying way over price for your ink cartridges to buy them at the store, Walgreens, CVS, wherever you get them online? Um, I was tired of it. For an HP Black like this, I can't remember, I was paying $32, $40 some dollars a cartridge, and it didn't last at all. It'd go empty quick. Right when you needed it, you got to drop what you're doing, go across town and go buy one. I started getting them online on Amazon. Great. Still saved a lot of money. Plan ahead, keep one on hand all the time. Still throwing my money away. If I could tell you, you could save a boatload of money and refill these at home yourself. Really easy. Actually, I'm going to show you how. Uh, they all use the same primary colors. The, the three cyan, yellow, magenta, maybe they're right here. I'll show you how to do it with this box I bought on Amazon. Prime, free two-day delivery to my doorstep. Let me tell you, the stores may have a couple mil of ink in this brand new. Junk expensive. This box was around $14 on Amazon. It comes with a several syringes here and they're not real needles, they're very flat and blunt little points, can't stick yourself. Um, just had to get the ink in there. So four of those, one for black, three for the colors. It comes with one 100 mil magenta, one 100 mil yellow, and one 100 mil cyan. So there's your three colors for your, your ink cartridge, that your color, tricolor. It also comes with two 100 mil black. Most people use black. This company here, the seller actually offered all of this in a kit for around $14. I'll, link a link, or I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can find this on Amazon. Um, amazing. It is weird. I don't know where it actually was manufactured. I read through here and some of the instructions are weird and the English may not be quite converted, translated right, but anyway, the instructions in there didn't cover mine. Basically, what you'll do, I just did it once, but I'm shooting another. I'll, I'll edit that part in. Uh, took the cartridge out, peeled the label back, and there's a port, port in here. Peel the label back, there's a port. You inject about or you suck up like five mil six mil in your syringe here be careful put a paper towel cloth something down that stuff will stain real easy you simply I don't want this to drip put in your tube suck up a few mil push it into the hole and gently twist it down a little ways you don't want to go all the way down I'm out of camera you don't want it to go all the way down in there you want it to be about to that depth depth uh, you twist when you push in because there's actually a foam cylinder in here, uh, cushion like, that disperses the ink. You don't want to mash it straight down because you'll clog the tip of this. Once it's in there, you just gently inject a little bit, wait a second or two, and pull this little. You inject a little bit, wait a second. You just want that ink to disperse in there evenly. And that's basically it. Pull it out, wipe it off, put it away safe, take your little label and stick it right back down, and that's it. It was super simple. I mean, it takes seconds to do. Um, <clears throat> once you do that, you've got a piece of paper here. You'll take the head and just gently dab it straight down. What you're going to want to see is to have the ink flow and leave a bar like that. At that point, you know you're good and the cartridge is ready to go. You'll pop it back in your printer, run a print alignment if you want. If you're going to print high resolution so that the two cartridges know where they are in relation to each other, that's what the alignment's for. Very simple to do. I'll never buy ink again. I'll definitely buy this. Honestly, this here may last me several years. Because uh, when you buy these, there's probably about 5 to 8 mil of ink in there. I mean, there's 100 mil here, so... Even if you went for the Gusto and you put 10 mil in this, and that's how much you use you still got 10 refills with this one bottle. So, 10 cartridges. I mean, hell, let's, let's just go on to Amazon here real quick. Actually, you no, know it's on my phone. I'm using my phone. Uh, so here's a HP 60 ink cartridge. It is $26.89. I'm sorry, that's a tricolor. Some of these may even be remanufactured, redone, but uh, here's a HP 60 black, $21. So still, even $21 for this, printing however many pages you get, which does not seem like a lot, and you go out and buy another one, and it runs out of the most inconvenient times. You just pop this out, shoot a few mil 
uh, leaders in there and pop it back in, you're good to go. Um, the other thing I might add to note, there's a chip in here. Somehow it knows like how many pages you printed, how much ink's consumed. That's what a printer, how it knows like, hey, you've got X number left, you should order, buy it, whatever. Or it stops the print. If you're printing a large document with this, it doesn't know. It'll probably come up with a warning saying this isn't a genuine ink cartridge. Just ignore it. Um, just I, mean, I don't even know what I do. Click it, close it, whatever. It still prints fine. But with that being said, if you're printing a large 100-page document, I wouldn't leave the room and come back later. Because if you are low on ink, it may continue to print and have run out after a few pages. So just keep that in mind. But uh, talk about saving money, clipping coupons, going across town for sales. This is one you can do in your own home if you have an inkjet printer that will save you a boatload of money. I hope this helps. Uh, encourage any of you to go do it. Uh, your tricolor, the way you fill that the same, there's three holes in the top of the tricolor. You'll just peel the sticker back if you're not sure which goes where, because obviously you want to put cyan and cyan, magenta and magenta, yellow and yellow. Take a, a toothpick, push it in gently and twist it around a little bit and pull it out. You'll definitely be able to see the cyan and the magenta, and then you'll know the third one is yellow. You may not be able to see that yellow on the toothpick color very well. So that's really all there is to it. It's really simple. You'll save a ton of money. So go out there and do it. If you like this, please uh, smash that uh, thumbs up button and subscribe to my random channels. So you wonder why when they give you those little bags that say recycle your ink cartridge, good for the environment, it's because they're getting those back for free and they're simply putting pennies worth of ink in it and then selling it for a premium. This sticker is actually really hard to get open. Okay, so I peeled it back a little bit. This one right here. There's a little hole right there and that's where the needle will go in. So... <clears throat> not knock this over. Different ink cartridges could hold more or less. Another couple pointers. You don't want to inject this all the way down and bottom out. You want to go probably maybe in that area somewhere. So put your needle in the ink. <clears throat> I'm gonna fill up about six mil worth in this one. I know it'll take six no problem. So as simple as that. Do not knock it, do not drip anywhere. Straight over your ink cartridge. As you start to go in here, twist your needle gently and push down gently because there's actually a sponge in here and you don't want to push straight down and just smash the sponge or clog the tip of your needle. So you're going to want to just rock it, twist it in there slowly. It's about that depth. Yeah, see, I already got some on me. Then all you're going to do is gently and slowly inject a little bit slowly As you do it, just do a little bit, let that ink disperse. Let that ink kind of give a chance to flow around and work in, around in there. Just a little bit here and there. I actually think I may have the needle down a little too far at first, but it's very simple to do. When you're all said and done, then you don't want that to stain and it'll make a mess. So that's all there is really to, to refilling an ink cartridge. And then simply put your sticker right back over it. There is a port you don't want to cover the port. That's where that was. Should be fine to put it right back on. There's a hole for air to go in when your ink comes out. So just be aware of that. 
I've got a random paper here. I want to see and get that ink flowing. Okay, so clean piece of paper. You got your head right there. When that touches down, you should have a nice line like that. So let's go ahead and get this put in the printer. you need to print an alignment page and share. Share the hell out of it. Thanks.